right, so this is my RTX 3080 Zotac Amp Hollow, and this is the Corsair XG7 water block that's been on. Like that. Yep. And now it's going to get replaced with a Bixky block. Yeah. So I'm going to remove this one first and go from there. Uh, I put some heat sinks on the back. What am I going to? Problem is going to be is I put. I covered one of the holes, screw holes there. Ah, there we go. Easy enough. Okay, so let's take this apart. So here's the card. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my Thermal Right Odyssey thermal pads, uh, the 1.5 millimeters, because these are the ones that are included and uh, they measure about 1.5 millimeters so I'm using my thermal right 1.5s and I'm just cutting them to length okay so we got the thermal pads yeah well, yeah looks good yeah Get this thing mounted. If I got the right, oh, no. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. All right, there we go. Let's get, oops, I think it's not. Doesn't like that way. All right. Let's go the other way around. Okay, so minor changes to the screws. I used the one with the springs. These two, I used the black ones. And I used the 1.5 millimeter thermal pad on here because there's a dip on there. So now everything looks like they are supposed to go. Yeah. Looks like good. Looks good. Okay. Here. If I can get this thing done, we need something like that. There we go. And now I need to. Yeah, there's an included bracket like this one, but it's just so flimsy. I'd rather use the same bracket. I'm, I think it'll work. Uh, nice, one more. Okay, there we go. Everything is mounted. All right. It's pretty heavy. I'm not going to lie, this thing is a lot heavier than the XG7. Uh, the, the front plate alone is a lot heavier. And the XG7 Corsair with the back plate with that 
I think that's solid steel and not um, aluminum. Yeah, feels like steel. That is, ooh, that is heavy. That's really heavy. Yeah, that's. I think that's nickel plated brass, but the back plate looks like it's just steel. Could be brass, but yeah, shit, that's heavy. Okay, so that's mounted. Let's go and mount the top part. All right, we got this part right here getting mounted. Uh, let's go the other way around. So, just gonna. Okay, that looks like it's steady enough. I wonder what these three screws are. Huh. They don't look like anything. Okay, so. Alright. That is mounted. Right there. get it on the loop okay so after 24 hours of running the system and almost the bubbles gone uh, I still got a little bit of a air pocket there we'll see if I can shake that out but yeah the system is a lot more stable now with regards to the temps um, okay so the 3080 is running at plus 1500 core doing a hundred two 103 mega hash and it's at 72 degrees on the memory junction temp the GPU is 53 degrees um, you might be disappointed with the, those temperatures but I got to elaborate that in my system I'm cooling my entire rig so I have six fans on the Lian Li 011 dynamic or 011 dynamic Three intakes, three exhaust, exhausting to a slim radiator right there, 360 slim radiator. The CPU and VRMs is cooled as well. And the 3080 with the active backplate is also cooled. That's in addition with a 3070 underneath the 3080, uh, adding more heat to the entire system. And that uh, 3070 is also mining at 60 mega hash right there um that's 47 48 the hot spot is 60 degrees uh and the fan speed on that is about 75 degrees right there so this setup is i think a lot cooler i think linus's video with the ek uh water blocks active backplate cooling systems around 72 degrees as well mining Ethereum on that Zotac 3090 card and that's a 3090 um, from my understanding the 3080s are more warmer than the 3090 22 degrees is not bad and for about $200 worth including shipping that's uh, that's a lot uh, cheaper than if I paid for EK with a water block and the back plate, uh, that will be a lot more. And this is also an improvement because I was using an XG7 Corsair water block and that was doing 92 to 94 degrees with aluminum fins and a fan um, cooling the those aluminum fins. And again, that's with the 3070 underneath it, heating it up as well. So 72 degrees is perfectly okay with me. Um, the thermal pads I use, somebody asked a question, is 1.5 millimeters thick. And those are Thermal Right Odyssey Extreme Thermal Pads. Um, I guess my CPU would be a lot cooler if I was, or I didn't run out of Cryonaut. 
I'm um, just using EK Tim right now. If I had some cryonauts, maybe my GPU uh, temps would be a lot cooler. Because uh, right now it stands at 52 degrees, which is, well, 53 degrees right there. Well, I guess it's because the back plate is contributing a lot of heat to, to the entire loop. And the entire loop is sort of uh, not cooling the GPU as efficiently as before without the back plate being cooled uh, with the XG7. So that's basically another heat source that's added into the loop. Um, I'll probably toss in a 360 red uh, and then maybe do a push pull config on the fans, add uh, three more fans at the other side of the OLM dynamic and see if that's going to be a lot cooler. But, yep, so 70 degrees is good for me. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'll uh, see if I can answer them in the comment section. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on uh, another video. Bye.